I'm Amy from Body Fit by Amy, and this is your total body athlete with a weights workout. This is day one of your athlete challenge. However, this is also a great standalone workout that you can do at any time, and I will give you options for all different fitness levels. Are you ready? Let's do it. Go ahead and start moving your body while I tell you about this workout. You can just start marching, roll those shoulders, whatever you need to do to get the heart pumping, to get the blood flowing, get the muscles warm, just shake everything out. Here's what we got today. We got full body strength, cardio, mobility, agility, endurance, all of those things that athletes need. And I wanna remind you right now that if you have a body, you are an athlete. So remember that we are all athletes here at Body Fed by Amy, and we're gonna tap into your inner athlete today. So big stretch right through here. We're gonna be working with either a kettlebell or a set of dumbbells or both. If you have both, I'll give you some options to switch between circuits. Otherwise, just use what you've got. If you have a few different weights, as in higher or lower, keep them close by. I will remind you to be where you are today, work to your fitness level, challenge yourself in a way that works for you. But remember that all that matters today is that you showed up and you are moving here with me today. Let's do a big I with our arms, and then a Y, and then a T. You can do a little hinge with it if you want. I, Y, come up on that T, really stretch through the back. Lengthen, I, Y, T. Shoulder mobility, but also all along that spine. Yes. Let's go two more. Breathe. And one more. Good. Let's hinge it down. We're gonna do a little hinge right through here. And then a squat. Try to get as low as you can. But don't worry, we're not in that workout yet. We just want to get those movement patterns that we will be using in our workout. One more right here. Squat it down if you can hold it, whether that's here or here. And just do what I call a little gorilla walk, opening up those hips right through here. And then if you can, take those toes out, roll those shoulders right through here. Yes. Walk your feet in. We're gonna take it back to that hinge. If you can, inchworm it out. Otherwise, you can take it to the knees or that high plank, or you can stay up top. Inchworm it back. I just want you to get three at your own pace. Inchworm is such a great mobility move to warm up through our entire body, get our core fired up and ready to go. Let's get one more right here. Good. And take one big step here, big reach up. World's greatest stretch. We're gonna come back to this in this workout. Other side, big reach. And then both feet, walk it in and round it up. All right, team, so I just told you what every athlete needs. We need strength. We need muscle endurance. We need power. We need lots of core strength. We need agility, and with all of that comes cardio endurance, and we need mobility. So that is what your circuit looks like. Don't worry, I'm gonna talk you through it as we go. Everything is in either 20, 30, 40, or 60 second intervals. Don't worry, there's only a few that are 60. But I'll be talking you through it, and it's gonna be up on your screen right here, okay? So I'm gonna start with my kettlebell. You just need one heavy weight. I'm gonna go kettlebell. If you only have dumbbells, use a dumbbell. It's gonna be a long circuit, but it is no repeat, which is what we're gonna like about it. Our strength, go ahead and step touch right here is just back to basics, and pretty much everything is back to basics today with lots of options. And then when we get to that muscle endurance, we're gonna put some things together. Go ahead and grab a kettlebell. We're gonna hold it at the side. Watch me right here. You're starting with just a lunge, so you have a few different options. You can start nice and wide. You can just keep it stationary right through here. Again, back to basic strength, or if you want, we're gonna do a forward lunge. If that's not right for you, you can also just do a little tap back or reverse lunge, that's your modification. But if you can try to go forward, we're gonna to touch that kettlebell down, drive it up, right? Lots of strength. So we got 30 seconds on the right, 30 seconds on the left, grab that kettlebell, zip up that core, shoulders back, forward, or stationary. Here we go. 
take it down, drive it through. Now remember, I'm gonna keep those shoulders pulled back, but I don't have to stay up nice and tall. I can lean a little bit, but what I don't want is to round in the back, right? And if that feels like too much with the weight, you just take it body weight. You can also, again, just do stationary. This is your workout. You do what is good for you and where you are in your journey and where you are today. Last one, right here. Good, catch your breath. Switch your hands with that weight. We're gonna do the same thing other side. So again, keeping those shoulders pulled back, zip up the core. So you're pulling that pelvis in, not sucking in, but nice and steady. Forward lunge or reverse. Here we go. Or stationary, of course. Again, it is okay. I'm gonna turn this way so you can see to lean into it a little bit. In fact, that really targets that front leg. Push out of that front heel right here. Drive it up, yes, team. And up, core engaged, yes. Heart rate should be getting up. So we don't have a specific cardio interval because it's all gonna be cardio endurance. Last one, and relax. Set your kettlebell down, get set up. Now we got 30 seconds of our row, right and left. I'm gonna stagger here. You're gonna pull that kettlebell up to here. Go ahead and get set up, hinge it. Here we go. Pull it up and squeeze. If you want to, you can be parallel with your feet. Nice flat back. If you need a breather for your back, you just come up out of it. If you can stagger, we're gonna keep it here. Pull the weight towards the hip. Back is flat. Again, not rounding here. If you see the tops of your legs, you wanna readjust. You want out in front of your body. Up and down. Squeeze, five seconds. Three, two, and one. Switch your legs. 15 seconds to breathe. Same thing, other side. So strong in your back. You're not rotating here. You're keeping it, pulling that elbow up, pulling that shoulder blade in, pulling the weight towards your hip. In three, two, one. And here, squeeze up. And here, right here. Flat back. Again, you can be staggered. Feet are in that train tracks that we talk about with lunges, not tightrope to affect your balance. Pull it up and squeeze and down. Sometimes I like to take this hand out because that keeps my back flat. Five seconds, four, three, two, one, and relax. All right, team, so those were your strength intervals. Now we've got muscle endurance, so we're going a little longer. We have 40 seconds of each. What we're gonna do, we're gonna step forward into the row, step back out of it. If you want, you can also just whoop, balance. Keep it stationary, do the row at the bottom. Whatever works best for you, or you can just pick one. You can even do half and half, 20 seconds, 20 seconds. But we've got a lunge and a row, right leg stepping forward, left arm rowing in three, two, one. Lunge, row. So we're going a little bit longer on these muscle endurance sets. And that's because exactly like it sounds. Muscle endurance means not how strong we can lift, how much power, but how long can we go? It is what every athlete needs. It's what we need in our daily life, right? Whatever you do for work, maybe it's with your kids, with your family. Don't forget to still get low. I can feel myself wanting to cheat it a little bit. Leaning into it. Flat back row, five seconds this side. Three, two, one, and breathe. Give yourself a second to breathe, shake it out. Same thing other side, so shake out those arms. Feel that endurance, right? We get cardio endurance, we also get muscle endurance. This whole set is similar movement patterns, legs, glutes, hips, and back. Go ahead and grab it here. So we got muscle endurance all the way through. Three, two, other side, here we go. So now for me, it's my left foot stepping forward, my right arm doing the rope. Right through here, step it in, flat back. It's very tempting to keep that chest up, right? But we really wanna make the back work hard. So get low towards that front knee. Take it here, yes. Drive out of that heel, down. Yes, you can. I know, and up, five, four, 
three, two, one. Catch your breath. I know it's a little bit of a long circuit, but don't worry, we, we really only have three of these and it's actually like two and a half. Now we've got some power. I'm gonna give you a few options. So power is strength and speed together. You find the power that's good for you. You're either just tapping back, tapping in, or jump back, jump in. Same leg is going back, same leg is coming in. 30 seconds each side, here we go. Back, breathe, up, breathe, yes, down, up. I know it's burning, these legs are gonna be burning by the end, you're gonna get that cardio, remember, you can modify. What is power for you? We just want power generated. Does not mean that you have to do the jump. It means that we're getting it done. Three, two, one. Catch your breath, get set up for that other side. If at any point you need more of a breather, you just hit pause, you take it, or you sit out and exercise. This, again, is your workout. Other side, you can step it back, tap it in with power, or jump it back. Here we go, 30 seconds. So same leg tapping in, same leg tapping back. Use your arms for that power, right? Breathe. The good news is this is our only lunge today, guys. Whole circuit of lunges, right? But it's the only time we're doing it. You got five seconds. Finish strong right here. Three, two, one. Ha! All right, take it down to the mat. Give yourself a little stretch right here. Whew. You can stay on your knees for this. Watch me. You're going to put that kettlebell on one side. You're going to either drag it through or you're going to pick it up and through. So you're either on your knees, keeping that core engaged, or you're up in that high plank or split the difference, right? We've got 40 seconds of our core, which is also gonna get our upper body and back involved, right? Bring it up and hold. Three, two, one. Pull it through. Again, if you've got a floor and a kettlebell that you can do the drag safely, you're gonna feel how that feels on your core. But otherwise, just pick it up, hand it over. If that weight is too heavy, just do a tap, reach, tap, reach. We just want a little bit of a cross and a lot of that core working hard. Nice, good plank form. Tilt the pelvis in. Wrap that core in. 10 seconds. Through. Breathe. Five, four, three, two, one. Stretch it back. Good news. We are almost to the end of this circuit. I thought we had one more, but we have two. Now we have agility. I know guys, this one's the longest because it has a lot of right side, left side. They get shorter as we go. All right, we got 30 seconds agility. We're taking it with our skater cross behind. So we want balance, we want footwork, we want speed. Tap behind, tap behind. You can get low and quick or whatever is best for you. Here we go, tap. So low impact, you're just doing a little tap. Again, we want that twist in that transverse plane. We want movement of the feet. We want balance. But certainly, if you want more of that speed drill, landing into that hip, that, if that's good for you, get it done. Then we got mobility after this, and that is it. Three, two, one. Catch your breath. All right, team. This is it. We got mobility. Watch me here. World's greatest stretch that we did in the beginning. We're gonna step it back. We're gonna reach it up. Step it in. Step it in. Step it back. Reach it up other side. If you want, you can go to the plank. I'll give you that option. Here we go. Step back, hand down, reach up. Take it in. Step it up. World's greatest stretch. Breathe. If you need to stay standing, just open up the hip reach it over, that works too. Open up the hip, little side stretch. If you want another option, instead of stepping it up, step into the plank, here, reach, and back. So either step from standing, or step from plank, 10 seconds. Oh man, this first circuit is so 
long last one bring it up how about some water team all right they get shorter i promise i wanted to start with the things that had right side left side to get them out of the way now we're going to grab our dumbbells we're going to do some things together but before we do that how about we get a swing usually we put these swings by themselves so we can prep and get into it and have good form today is no exception so if you have a kettlebell you can do kettlebell if you have one heavy dumbbell you can do dumbbell if you have two dumbbells you can do what we call a skier swing we've got that swing motion it's not a squat we're going to start with our deadlift so we get a feel for the hinge then we're going to move into that swing so core engage let's get 20 seconds of a deadlift weight in the center right here join me 20 seconds little hinge and up so shoulders pin back we call this packing the shoulders slight bend in the knees weight goes down in the center if you have two dumbbells you're here or right by the side but think about driving the hips to the back right it's a hinge not a squat last one and relax all right now we're moving into that swing if you need to keep the deadlift option that is totally fine if you're comfortable with the swing power it up lock it out let it drop power it up let it drop you are not lifting you're swinging like a pendulum and then let it drop here we go 30 seconds three two one power up let it drop you're locking out of the top in the glutes and hamstrings in the core you can breathe out that helps you really connect at the top kettlebell stays low we're keeping it chest to eye level or even lower because we want to use that posterior chain we don't want to use the arms you're squeezing in the back muscles in those armpits, but you're not lifting in the arms. We got five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Pedal your feet, team. We are halfway through this workout. Get a sip of water. All right, now we're gonna take it. As I told you, these rounds are gonna get shorter because we're going two hands. Again, if you need more of a breather, hit pause, totally fine, whatever you need. We're starting with our dumbbells. We're gonna start with the squat. If you can, I want you to put those dumbbells in the center. If you need to go body weight, that's okay. Then we got 30 seconds of a curl. Then we got 30 seconds of a press. Then squat, curl, press. Putting it all together. It's gonna make sense as we go. Start with two heavy dumbbells or one heavy. We got 30 seconds of each of our strength. We got 60 seconds putting it together, but I promise it's gonna go fast. Shoulders back, three, two, one. Down, squat it up. So I want you now to do a squat, right? It's gonna be tempting to do that deadlift because that's what we just did, but now we're sitting right through here. If it makes more sense to rack your dumbbells, you can take them here. That works as well. Connect with the glutes and the core at the top shoulders back yes five seconds breathe three two and one catch your breath for 15. now we're going into a bicep curl so if you have your kettlebell you just got one in between otherwise we're coming up we're going down by our side shoulders back core engaged 30 seconds back to basics so remember when we get to muscle endurance you can always go back to strength you can always keep it right here. Your workout, right? Breathe. So I like to put one foot back. That helps me as I get tired to not arch my back right here. I'm gonna wrap that core up and down. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one. All right, give your hands a break or hang on to them for 15. Now we gotta press. So I'm gonna go out press up and in because then when we put them together I'm gonna come with that hammer grip for both up to you you can also drop to one dumbbell I'll show you what that looks like bring them up here we go up and down I'm dripping sweat thought it was a bug but it was just sweat if you need to one dumbbell right here in the center again core is engaged same idea with that foot back but you're not leaning but you're pulling everything in up and down two dumbbells or one Yes, team. We got three, two, 
and one. Relax them down. All right, team. So you know what to do. This is a long one, but it's a shorter set. So 60 seconds. You're taking it down with those dumbbells. Watch me while you relax your arms and legs. Down with the squat. Up with the curl. Press. It's not a power move. Our power move is coming. So I don't want to see any cleans or hinges or anything like that. Just sit low, curl, and press. If at any point you need to alternate those arms, you can. Otherwise, grab those weights. 60 seconds. Down. Hammer curl. Hammer press. You, of course, can do regular curl, regular press. Up to you. Slow and controlled. Just because we're working endurance does not mean that we're going fast. We're going long and we're going heavy, right? Take it down. Drive up through the heels. Curl and press. Halfway there. And up. Yes, you can. Down. Up. Up. Down. Up. And up. 15 seconds. Nice and strong. Muscle endurance. Strength. Cardio endurance, stamina. We're getting it all in. Five, four, three, two, all the way through. Finish it out. Yes, team. Set those weights down. Shake it out. Ha, that's the long one. Now we got power. Only going 30 seconds for our power. We're going to keep those legs working. We got a squat tap down. So tap, reach, drive that arm to the back to the back. If you're going low impact, just step it out, step it out. Power on your way up either way. What does power look like for you? Let's see it. 30 seconds. Down. You're still getting low. It's not this. It's here. Power. 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 Whew. Yes. Whatever it is for you, 10 more seconds. Yes, you can. I know you can. Yes. Keep breathing. Three. Get low. Two. And one. Catch your breath. Down on your mat, guys. All right. If you need to take this standing for whatever reason, I just want you to press and knee, then switch. Press and knee. We're going to a little press with a V sit. You have a few options. You can just hold it here. Press. Switch in front, or here, out, here, out, or anything in between. Join me here, 40 seconds, core, and press. Here we go. Just like before, we're taking it. So you can have those feet down if you want. You can be balanced. And out. Just like before, we're getting the upper body working along with the core, just like we got the lower body working along with the power. See what we're doing here? That's why it's all endurance. It's all strength. Woo! If you don't feel comfortable holding that over your head and switching it, just go here. Bring it up. Five seconds to go. What you got, team? Of course, you can always do this body weight. Last one. Ha! Stretch it out. Yes! Oh man, do we really have two more? I think we do. But let's get it done. Make sure those weights are out of the way. Agility. We're gonna go shuffle, 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 reach. Shuffle, 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 reach. If that's not right for you, double step and reach. Here we go, 40. So quick feet. This is what we call your athletic stance, right? We're halfway down. We're not in a full squat, but we got bent knees. We're soft on those feet. We got core engaged, shoulders back, quick feet. Whatever that is for you, maybe it's double step. You're getting low impact agility. That still works. Whose legs are burning? I know mine are. Keep it going. Shuffle, reach. You can make it a punch if that's your thing. Yes. Five, four, three, two, one, and breathe. All right, team, we're gonna inchworm it out into a side plank. So watch me here. Here's your mobility. Inchworm. Reach to the right. Reach to the left. Inchworm it back. 
If that's not right for you, you stay on your knees, reach and reach, and you can just stretch it back, child's pose, up to you. You can keep it low, you can take it high. Whew. We got 40 seconds, then we're done with this interval. Three, two, one, here we go. Inchworm it out, slow and controlled. Side plank, back to center. Side plank. What we love about inchworm is it gets everything in your body, that good mobility, but also takes more time. So it feels like we're doing less, right? We're already halfway there. Can we get two more in? Walk it back. I think we can. Inchworm it out. Slow and controlled. Reach and back. Reach right through here. Whoo! One more. Yes. Reach. Last one. Stretch it back, child's pose. Yes, team. All right, let's get a swing again. We'll start with that deadlift. Kettlebell or dumbbells, doesn't matter because we're closing out this workout, all right? So take it right here. Whoo! Core, engage. We're gonna start with your deadlift. Grab it down right here, 20 seconds. Here we go. Take it down and up. Down and up, shoulder blades back. Here we go. All the way through. Five seconds. Three, two, one and relax. All right, get set up. You can keep that deadlift or you can take it to a swing. We got 30 seconds to go. What do you got, team? Roll it back. Remember, it's like a pendulum. Lock it out. Let it drop. Shoulders back. Three, two, prep it. 30. <sighs> Drive into the heels. Squeeze in the shoulder blades. I like to say like you're squeezing something underneath your armpits, but again, you are not lifting with the arms. This is tougher when we're further in the workout and we're more tired. So really squeeze, let it drop, squeeze, let it drop. Power up, push into those feet, connect with the core for three, two, one. Swing and relax. Pedal your feet right through here. Quick sip. All right, team. Let's take it down to the mat. Guess what, we have one more round but it's a quick round, all right? We're gonna consider this our bonus round, as in, this is also your bonus move. Go ahead and join me down here. We're gonna make it quick. We got 30 seconds of a bridge. We got 30 seconds of a chest press. If you feel like adding the triceps, you can. We got 30 seconds putting them together. Then we'll have a quick power, quick core, quick agility, we'll get it done. All right, so we're going through all the parts, but we're gonna go through quickly. So listen to my cues, do what's best for you, starting with just a bridge. I know those glutes and hamstrings are tired because we just did that swing, but here we go. Take it up and down. You do not have to have the weights on it if you don't want to. You can just take a body weight, hamstrings and glutes, but also connect with that core. We're about halfway there. In 15 seconds, we're gonna rest those. We're gonna take it to a chest press. I'll give you the option of triceps, but it is an option. You don't have to take it. Yes, glutes, think about that core. Three, two, one. Bring the weights up right here, chest press. Bring them in. So bring those palms in. If you want, add the triceps. We're up. If you were one of my Prenatal mamas, you want, might wanna keep that bridge, but it's up to you. Just your chest press or add those tries, only if that's right for you. Get ready. We're gonna put them all together so we really get that muscle endurance because we didn't break in between. Ready, here we go. Press and bridge, triceps and bridge if you want. Up and down, up and down, whatever rhythm that is for you. If it's just your press, or if it's press, tries. Yes, team, I know. There we go. Up, down, three, 
two, and one. Relax it down, open up your arms. Since we're in this position, let's just skip power, we'll go to core, all right? If you're modifying, just take it to that bridge, little knee pull, otherwise we got three, two, one, and hold. Here we go, 30 seconds to go. Here we go, three, two, one, and hold. Three, two, if you can on that hold, push your elbow into the top of the leg or inside of the knee and push your knee into the inside of the elbow. Three, two, hold and push, yes. Three, two, three, two, last one. Breathe, stretch out those legs, bring it up. Power, let's get it done. Here we go team, here is what we got. We got power and agility together. We're going out, out, in, in, pop it up plie, jump it up. Out, out, in, in, pop it up. If that's not right for you, you do it all standing. Out, out, in, in, plie and reach, or plie and jump. 40 seconds, ready, here we go. Out, out, in, in, pop it up plie, jump it up if you can, whoo! Here we go, walk it back or jump it back. Out, out, in, in, reach. So we got agility, quick feet, out, out, in, in. Power from here. I know we're tired, but let's get it done. We're skipping, we're going right to mobility after this. This is it, team. This feels like your bonus move, right? Yes, keep it moving. Out, out, in, in. Pop it up, power, plie. Out, out, in, in. Pop it up, power plie. Relax. Ha, ha, ha. All right, team. Let's finish it out right here. Sit back, child's pose. Bring it up, cat, cow. Take it up to bird dog. That's all. We got 40 seconds leading into our cool down. Here we go. Three, two, one. Child's pose stretch. Up to all fours, roll, cat, cow. Bird dog right, bird dog left. Really feel the stretch of it, here we go. Sit back, child's pose. Up to all fours, roll up cat and cow. Get all the way through, I know it feels like a lot of parts. This is kind of like a mobility bonus move, right? Sit back, reach those fingertips, take those hips to the back. Come up forward using your core. Roll through cat to cow, reach bird dog. Reach bird dog, can you get one more to finish strong? Sit back, child's pose. Bring it up, cat cow. Reach and reach. Yes, team. Oh, so either take it back to child's pose or if you're a fan of pigeon and you can get in there, take it to that pigeon, but you don't have to. You can just take it to child's pose. You did it. How do we feel? I know that was a lot. I threw a lot at you. I told you it was no repeat, but we put things together and everything complemented each other. I like to say complemented, but we kept those legs working on your power move. We kept those arms moving on your core. We kept everything working together. Whew. Come to a seated position. Take those knees out. I hope you enjoyed this workout today. Remember, you can do this at any time. You're doing our athlete challenge. We're gonna get a lot of similar workouts, but as always, I will give you different options. The most important thing is that you showed up today. If that felt hard, that's because you were working hard. That was hard because you did do it, not because you can't do it. Reach those arms to the back. I'm always gonna remind you of that. You are here, you are an athlete, you are strong, you are capable, and we're just gonna keep getting stronger every day that we show up. Showing up for ourselves, showing up for those we love. Roll back onto your feet. Whew, come onto your feet, pedal right through here. Make sure you check out all the links in the description below. Would love to have you join us in the Body Fit Athletic Club. If you need that extra support, that accountability, if you want nutrition help, if you want access to me as your trainer and to our body fit dietitian, that is where you wanna be. So check it out below, would love to have you join us. 
So make sure that you get our free weekly and monthly workout calendars. And if you're looking for any equipment, check out my links below. Thank you so much for being here, athletes. I am so proud of you. Let's get one big deep breath in and out. You did it. That was your total body athlete with weights workout. Great job, everybody.